Good Sunday morning to everyone. My name is Rick Marrera. It is November 21st and I'm just going to give you a short tour of the garden and then I'm going to show you some Hoyas that are a little bit rare uh, that I picked aside for you and then towards the end of the video I'm going to take you down to uh, Palmer Orchids uh, Fall Festival in uh, Bradenton, Florida and they had a gazillion uh, plants there so I wanted to share that with you guys. So stick around and I hope you enjoy. Uh, the weather here in St. Petersburg, Florida has been really nice. The last few days the temperatures have been in the 70s. There's been a slight breeze um, and it's just so nice not to have the high humidity. So uh, the orchids are doing really well. The Hoyas are slowing down. So I'm moving some plants into the greenhouse and um, to get ready for the winter and uh, keep most of the Hoyas out here, but some of the tender ones will go in the greenhouse. And I'm gonna put a lot more orchids out here this winter. And I've been collecting bulbophyllums for about a year or a year and a half. And this year I acquired uh, this Emily Seagrits uh, bulbophyllum and it was in bloom. And then I left it here in this spot uh, all year. And uh, to my surprise, I found, uh, I think it's nine bloom spikes. And these are already beginning to open, but there's some that are not open yet. And there's some back there. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, performing a lot better than I thought it would. And so I can't wait for this plant to get bigger so I can have a big uh, specimen plant of this uh, bulbophyllum species. Uh, it's actually a, a cross, uh, Bulbophyllum MOE Seagurist. So let me just give you a quick tour back here because I have the Hoyas to show you and then I have the, um, the uh, Palmers to show you. So over here is uh, this uh, bag baby that I got. It's an RLC Herbert Kimiyama. And I got it as a bag baby if you watched my last video about six months ago and it bloomed. Uh, I was pretty happy with it and it's been in bloom for almost two weeks. So, and it's really fragrant and the color is really nice. So, so back here, the Hoyas is doing pretty good. The most it's gotten here, it's uh, probably 58 degrees. So I didn't move anything, but, um, yeah, things are going to go down into mid 50s by next week, I believe. So I have to move some stuff and uh, show you again from last week. Jesse Lee is still blooming and it's still very fragrant. And the colors are that orange is getting more and more intense. It's really, really beautiful. And even my uh, Dark Lord, this leaf, this new leaf is doing really beautiful. So yeah, the philodendrons are still putting out uh, new growth, which is nice. And look at this. This is a beautiful new orchid that I got recently in bloom. And I'll show you, it's from Bredrens. And it's uh, BC and Seal Gloden. And um, it's so beautiful, the colors are like this beautiful blood red color and uh, many flowers on each spike. A few of them fell on my trip and then um, as you can see my neighbors doing some yard work there and that is some um, new buds that are not open yet. And this guy over here is the Occultata still in bloom and needs to go into the greenhouse. I think it's a thinner leaf. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Let me show you a quick few more things. This is a, uh, a Brasavola nodosa hybrid of some sort. I had mounted it on a piece of driftwood and uh, it liked it, so it's in bloom. And uh, let's go back here. Yeah, the philodendrons that are back there are doing really well still. They're um, probably going to stay out here a few more weeks before I move them into the greenhouse. 
but I just want to go ahead and show you guys um, the Hoyas that I picked out so that I have enough time to do that trip down to um, Palmer's Orchids. This big one here is uh, Hoya uh, Surisana and I have it in my soilless mix of coconut, perlite, charcoal and some sphagnum. I have to water it and give it nutrients a few times but uh, for these thin leaf Hoyas they seem to like that kind of treatment down here in Florida for me at least. And uh, down here I have Hoya Ev Evelyn A. I'll show you the tag. And uh, this guy is in Palm over Leka. And Hoya Crescipediolata Splash. And it seems to be getting splashier um, as it gets cooler, I guess. I don't know. And Hoya Emerita here is in Bud. And it's probably about 12, 10 to 12 days from blooming. So excited about that because I've never been able to bloom it before. And down here I have Hoya endowensis. It has nice little wavy edges to it. Uh, nice orange flowers. And it's doing well just here in Weka. Uh, that's the only way I can grow this Hoya successfully here in Florida. Um, and in here I also put a couple of like, slow growers to see. Test them out in Leka, and this is ETS 10 and it seems to like it because it's putting out new leaves here. And then I have Hoya Nuna or Kumi, uh, David Kuminji Aiello um, and it seems to like Leka because it's putting out a new vine here. So that is it for the Hoyas I've selected for you this week. Now we're going to go down to Palmer's. It's about 47 minutes south of me in Bradenton. And then I'm going to walk around there and show you what they have. Here we are at uh, Palmer's Orchids in Bradenton, Florida. They're having their sale uh, this weekend. It was on Friday, today is Saturday, and it's gonna be going on tomorrow. So they have all kinds of plants. They have Hoyas, lots of tropicals, and a gazillion orchids. I already walked around and I saw uh, quite a few plants that I wanna get, so let me shoot this video and then maybe next week I can do a haul video uh, because there's just way 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 too much stuff here to um, to go over so let me start here some really nice philodendrons and alocasias and lots of tropical plants there's a big Hoya compacta over there and just so much temptation. Really? Hey, the more you buy, the better deal you get. Oh, is it? I have to remember that. Huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. So yeah, you have a nice little collection of Thank tropical you. plants. Thank you. I love that compacta. Seriously? I just got two. Yeah, you have two, two left, right? I heard. This thing is probably six feet long on that Hoya compacta. So yeah, lots of stuff. So come down to Bradenton if you're in the area and they have food and all the potting supplies that you could ever dream of. Fertilizers, pots. And the uh, Palmer's Orchids is a vast complex of greenhouses here and you probably need just a day just to go through all of them. But I'm keeping it short uh, because there's a lot going on. And uh, up here is Artstone Nursery from St. Petersburg, Florida. 
I go through, if you see my videos, I go through them all the time. And that's where I buy a lot of my orchids. But uh, they have quite a few uh, bromeliads and foliage plants. They even have some uh, Hoyas here. Yeah, yeah. Some Christmas cactus. And they always have some really interesting ferns, which I am not the best fern grower, but these are really cool. Staghorns. I think these are alligator ferns. I think that's what they're called. And alocasias. And they have uh, leases and variegated waietes for $18. That's not too bad. And uh, they have these small orchids. <laughs> that you can pick here and lots of succulents. Paul grows a lot of succulents in uh, the nursery. So every time you go to uh, St. Petersburg Art Stone, there's always lots of succulents and a lot of these basket plants, uh, like string of turtles, uh, string of dolphins, and uh, string of pearls. They always have that uh, in stock. This cute string of dolphins is $18. And a little clever idea here is to get a pair of thongs to pick up your cactus so you don't get poked. So yeah, this is Artstone Nursery setup. Look at this. This is really beautiful. And I don't know the tag on there. The tag, oh, Catlea. Chopped up there. There's the name. It's really beautiful. Some of the skidias nicely mounted on these ceramic pots. Yeah, this really cute Brasavo Acordata species, Jamaica. Look at these guys. Wow, look at that blue fly. Really beautiful. So these are the grounds and I was just told by the owner that I could go anywhere in these greenhouses. So I'm going to have to explore. It's really beautiful. And these I guess grow out here all, all year long. It's about uh, 76 degrees, a little bit overcast, but the weather is kind of perfect for these kind of shows. Oh wow, this one is that, Yuko Tuka Cotton. I forgot my reading glasses at home, so I'm going to have a little bit of a challenge reading tags today. Look at this guy. So a lot of these are, big ones are not for sale, but they're really stunning. Gosh, there's just so, so much to look at. So, oh, wow, this guy is really, really pretty size. And drove in. Wow, that's a bright yellow right there. Yeah, we already went. <laughs> <laughs> 
we've, we've done, done that twice too. too. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to come around and shop after I finish this video. Yeah, this is this is really cute. So lots of to choose from, as you can see. Some brassavolas. We'll see them. Oh, look at the mountain one. Mounted ones are really beautiful. Just loaded, loaded with blooms. And let's see this guy is pretty beautiful. And that really big specimen plant is. Let's see if I can read it. It's just labeled Catlea. What is it? Orangiana cerulea. Oh, thank you. It's beautiful. It's huge. A while behind you. Mm -hmm. This mounted one here is really gorgeous. <coughs> Show you some oncinniums down here. I do too. We miss the snow. I actually have this one blooming in my yard. Wildcat Yellow King. Trying to get out of the way. And you can see there's just endless beds of orchids everywhere. I had this one last year too. Sometimes I have a hard time keeping these alive after they bloom. That's really pretty. Snowbird. Oh, that's really pretty too. And that one. These are... nice breeze here and we're at uh, just one more orchid and that's Natalia if you're familiar with her channel YouTube channel just one more orchid oh yes I know I know them hi hi so yeah she has all this all these um, pieces of pottery that are perfect to hang orchids to mount them and you can tie them with zip ties and oh, uh oh, some orchid just went broken there. Uh, yeah, her pottery is really good for growing orchids here in Florida because you can mount them like you can see here. And they, uh, if you water them and fertilize them, they really like being mounted. So yeah, check out her pottery. This is their Vanda house, and they're really amazing deals in here and they're really amazing plants they just have so much some of these vandas are like 10 feet long the root systems are incredible. Really, that green one is like catching my eye there. It's really gorgeous.
And that's my video for this week. I thank you for watching. And uh, please come back uh, next Sunday. I upload a video every Sunday and it's all plant related. It's either in my garden or I take you on tours of local plant nurseries and plant shows. And if, when I start traveling to Thailand and uh, other parts of the world, I will bring you more plant related material from there. So be well and have a great week. Bye bye.